Life offers us many things, so many things, and often too many things. That's why life is about choices. Every one of us, without exception, need to choose. What I'm drawing now is a cat lady sitting in a magical plant shop, drinking a flower tea from a floating teapot and cup. The shop is full with plant choices, various vessels, tubes, and balls that she can choose to place her plants. Even this lady in my drawing need to choose from this shop. A simple allegory to describe that humans are bound to make choices is when we talk about shopping. When we shop, we will have various purposes, from shopping for needs to shopping for pleasure. That's when we know trends. Trends have made our purpose shifted. We start to buy things following what's on trendy in place of what we actually need or want. And our society make trends not only for fashion or other things that we can buy. Instead, we make trends literally for everything. Lifestyle, thoughts, way of life, beliefs, and perspectives. As we go through our life, we will meet a lot of people with all different lifestyles, beliefs, and perspectives. And every time we interact with other people, we rub on each other's energy, as well as our beliefs and perspectives will also influence each other. This could be a beautiful thing, but could also be a horrible thing. It is once again depends on your choice. Do you know that each one of us has several personas that we developed ourselves? There is an actual self and a fantasy self. An actual self is the person who you really are. 
a fantasy self is the person that you want other people perceive you or the person you want to be. Your actual self might be who you are when you are a kid. And as we go on with our life, we adopt and adapt a lot of beliefs and perspectives from people around us. That's how we create our fantasy self. If your actual self and fantasy self are really different and far from each other, you will have a chaotic and disconnected mental state. To put it simple, let's talk about shopping again. When you want to buy something, try to really search and think, what is your intention? Is it for your need, enjoyment and self-expression? Or is it to avoid the feeling of inadequate and not enough? The first one is when you shop for your actual self. You're confident with who you are and what you want. While the second one, you shop for your fantasy self. You buy this certain thing to be perceived as a certain way, to make you feel better, to make you look pretty, cooler, trendy, or any image that you want to be perceived. Whenever I operate from my fantasy self, usually it's because I'm too focused on the external happenings in the world around me. I realize that I can't just adopt and adapt to every trend and lifestyle that the world offer. Maybe that trend, lifestyle or belief are good for other people, but not necessarily for me. And I don't need to follow them in order to feel content with my life. I learned that contentment actually comes from the inside. When I'm content with who I am and where I am in life, without the need to prove anything to anyone, I'm easily connected with my actual self. And surprisingly, my fantasy self also changed. It's closer to my actual self. That means I no longer want to be anybody else but myself.
Whatever choices we have to make in our life, make sure it comes from our actual self, not the fantasy self. It will save us from unnecessary regret. But as a human, we definitely make mistakes here and there. We will not always be at our best self at all times. And that's okay. Let's try our best to not being harsh on ourselves when we make mistakes. Just learn from it and keep moving forward. In the end, life is different for everyone. We all have our own perspective and interpretation of life. No two people are having the same exact experience even if they are in the exact same moment. We are all living in our own version of reality. Reality is one thing, the way we perceive it is another thing. And over time, our perception could also change. That's what we call memories. Sometimes we can remember some moment and totally forget the other moment. Sometimes we remember that same moment differently from another time. Our past is only a fragment of our imagination. We process our reality with our mind, 
emotions, judgments, consciously and unconsciously. To dig more into this, let's check in with how we view our past and life stories so far. What story that you tell yourself? All the stories that we've been telling ourselves are just opinions or judgments, not fact. This means we can change and adjust our opinion and judgment. Choose the one that can help you and support you to flourish in life. Do not hold on to some beliefs or memories that make you hurt or struggle in life. And definitely, we don't need to force ourselves to adopt other people's beliefs. You got to decide your own. If you believe life is hard, it's true. If you believe life is beautiful, that's also true. It's your choice. So what's your color? Are you happy with that? The choice is yours.